This is a Noisy House production. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Pokey Dad. So I was just sitting here looking at all of our Charizards, and I was like, you know what? Let me come hang out with you guys on the channel and show you guys the amazing Charizards that my son and I have pulled. I do got some code cards from my code card people. Stay tuned. Let's dive on in. All right, guys. Like I said, I wanted to come hang out with you guys and show you guys some cool Charizards that we have pulled. Let's get on into it. Here's some code cards from the code card guys. First one, well, I think the first three are all the Charizard V promo cards. We have three of those. Well, three that are not in the packaging. And we also have one, two, three, four, five that are in the packaging. So there's a lot of those, and you guys have seen a lot of those. So I won't go too in depth on the charge on these promo cards. We do have one that we are gonna probably send off to be graded. It's like the best one. Next we have, okay, yes, we have four of these. Four of the reverse Charizard with Leon from Vivid Voltage. I really like this one. I think it's just cool, him being trained by his trainer. So we have four of those. Here's the other three. Not going too far in depth on those ones. Four of them, guys. We have the regular non hollow version of that card. Oh, cool. And then we also have the cracked dice version as well. I like this one the most. I like this card in a hollow form, it's cool. And the pattern is sweet. But yeah, the Leon on there. Sweet, epic. Alright, now we're gonna go into our Darkness Ablaze Charizards. And we have two of these. Here's the first one, and here's the second one. Really cool looking cards. And now, we're gonna go into our tag team Charizards that we have. So you're still looking for the others, but these are what we have so far. And we got these out of something we buy at Walmart. It's like a theme deck kind of thing. So no, we haven't had a look on. We pulled a lot of tag team packs too. Broken lines and team up. All right, so now we'll go into the Hidden Fates Charizard. This one is actually one you get from the tin or the collection box. Yeah, that comes in a tin or the collection box. Still a really cool card. Everything we get that's Charizard is collectible. This one is a Dragon Majesty Charizard, but you get this in the theme deck that comes in the Pokemon Battle Academy box, and it's got the little stamp on there, so I thought that was cool. Then we have another one of those, but the other one, we actually got this one out of a Mystery Power Cube. So yes, we pulled a Charizard from the Mystery Power Cube. And back to that Pokemon Battle Academy. This is one of the promo cards you get. You get a Raichu and a Mewtwo as well. And this is one. Really cool. Now we're into evolutions. We have four of these guys, but this is the Mega Charizard EX. We have four of those, so I won't go too far in depth on those. But yes, there's four of them. These are beautiful cards as well. It's not my, I wouldn't say it's my favorite rendition of Charizard, but I do, I do like it. We have the Team Up Charizard non hollow And then we have the Japanese version. I really like this one though. With the borders all hollow. It's just a sweet looking card. Yes, it is. We also have our Mega, or not Mega, sorry, the Charizard EX from Evolutions. He's gonna reach out and grab you. 
this is a cool card. I actually like this one a little bit more than the Mega. My all time favorite, well, not all time, but my, it's in my top five Charizard editions. It's this one. I love this artwork. Him just soaring through the sky. But yes, yeah, the Charizard from the Vivid Voltage pre release deck. This thing is sweet. Really happy when we pulled this here on the channel. All these cards actually have been pulled on the channel. So. This guy, Charmander, by the way, he's my favorite Pokemon, but we got him from a lady at the flea market. She sold us a couple tins of cards for five dollars and he was in there so cool shiny Charmander this card actually a little bit more meaning of this one of my I've only have a few hollows that I've had since I was a kid part of my Pokemon collection but this is one of them it's my Blastoise See the swirl up there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but yep, he's got a swirly. Lost Toys has got a swirly. But yeah, I've had him since I was a kid. And believe it or not, he's not that bad in shape. Some whitening, but I do want to actually get him graded eventually when the grading stuff slows down and people can actually get their cards out. Wait a year. This I found at a thrift store, Japanese Typhlosion. I do shop thrift stores, flea markets, yard sales, garage sales, rummage sales, any kind of sale. You will catch me there looking for Pokemon cards. I have found quite a bit and gotten extremely blessed at a lot of sales when it comes to Pokemon cards. Just say that. Now we're moving into another Evolution Charizard. This one is the reverse. And centering on this one isn't as bad as I've seen a lot of them. The top is a little heavier than the bottom, but uh, this one's gonna get graded. I expect it to probably get a nine. All these cards that you see, besides the ones that I've, you know, bought from like a thrift store or something, are packed fresh. All pack fresh and straight into penny sleeves and top loaders. Here's an Evolution's regular hollow Charizard. Centering is so bad on this card. But Evolution's had really bad quality control, so it's expected. You can see this side here is way thicker than this side, so yeah, not good. But still a Charizard nonetheless. Then we have another Evolution Charizard. This one, the centering's a little bit better. It's not as bad. Not as bad, but it's definitely not a 10. Oh, Charizard, so much. He evolves from my favorite Pokemon, so. What more can you ask for? All right. Now we're gonna get into some, a little bit more story behind them. We are going to go into our base set of Charizards. This one, let me look just to be sure. This one, a guy actually reached out to me and we made a deal, but we just got it not too long ago. And it's like in like so good a condition. It's ridiculous. Just a little whitening down there at the bottom. Just a little. But I can just say we were extremely blessed with this card. Then literally two weeks after that, I went to one of my local thrift stores that I like to go to. It's a mom and pop. And they had a shoebox full of cards football, basketball, some Pokemon, and that's all they told me was Pokemon, so I get out to the car, I paid 25 bucks for this box, I get out to the car, and there was another one, this one, a little bit more rougher around the edges, but it was in the box, no sleeve, 
No top loader by itself. Definitely got whitening. I don't know if the camera picks it up. I kept put these two in the little sleeve bag things that they come in, the sleeves, but just extra protection. Yeah, two of those. Definitely sending those off to get graded. Especially the one I got out the shoebox. It blew my mind. You guys, you don't even understand. It really blew my mind. Some more coke for you guys. All right, just a few left. Just a few left. Another card that I've had since I was a kid is my Dark Char card. Holographic. I never had, never pulled the regular Charizard as a kid, so this was my guy, man. And he is not in the best of shape, let me tell you. He's got a crease. Rough around the edges, but yep, that's my guy. My Dark Charizard. Then we got... The Evolutions Mega Charizard EX. My son and I pulled this guy. It wasn't too long ago, actually, but I love this version of him. And we're going into the Darkness of Blaze. Darkness of Blaze Charizard VMAX. This card is so sweet. He's like scorching. All right. Now we're down to our last two. Last two Charizard guys. First one is the shiny Charizard from Champions Path. And his brother, the Rainbow Charizard. Pulled this one two days after Christmas when all hope was given up. We finally pulled him. Such a beaut. This is my top favorite rendition of Charizard. This is such a beautiful card. He just like hypnotizes you. It's crazy. I love this card. And then we have the rainbow. We pulled this on Christmas in our Christmas video that we were doing. Oh my goodness, I was so hyped. That's that, guys. A couple more code cards here. Those are our Charizards. We are going to continue pulling. Shining Fates is coming out. so And we are really looking forward to Shining Fates February 19th. We're ready. We're going to get that Shining Charizard V Max. Are you guys excited? Drop down in the comments if you are as hype as we are. But yeah, like I said, I wanted to come show you guys our Charizard collection. Hang out with you guys for a little bit. Make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Peace.